Hello. This is a message to conservatives, to my conservative fellow compatriots. Um, you know, I have a message for you. I have relatives I'm going to see in the holidays. I'm just as blunt and try to be as funny where that's not funny. You know, I'm pretty much the same, but you know, I there is one difference. It's obvious I care about these people. You know, when I argue with Mr. Rocking E, it's not obvious I care about him as a human. I do to a certain degree, but it's it's really more assured with you know my loved ones, the family that just happen to be uh, conservatives. I think I'm in that case liberal, I guess. But but here's the issue. Here's the issue. Okay, first of all, it's a democracy. So let's just assume we're not supposed to all agree. Let's assume that. We've made a system where, kind of assuming we aren't going to all agree unanimous every decision, or any of them. Now, I have a problem with the 50%. I think it would be good to have a 60%, 70% kinds of votes. Hard to figure out how that would happen with the president, but in certain cases it's actually quite easy, like in legislation. You know, what if you just had to have two-thirds? They basically made it that way with the Senate, and while it's a sort of a rape of the filibuster idea, and I think they should go back to a regular filibuster, I wouldn't mind that to pass the Senate, this deliberative body, two-thirds of the people have to think it's a good idea. That just means one in three people thinks it might not be a good idea, which is a concern to me. So, but that's another issue. What I have to say is a couple things. Okay, I voted for Obama, and I, I think he's the best president in my lifetime so far. That's my impression. Oh my, well, you're just a big... Does it mean I'm a big fan of him? Like the rest of you, I'm, they're having a nice little party over there. I think they're playing this ledge game. Having fun. Remember, we're not all supposed to agree. Okay? I happen to think he's a good president. Oh, but I'm stupid. Well, it doesn't matter. You're in a democracy, okay? This is the meaning of elections have consequences, okay? Elections have consequences, and I'm a love-it-or-leave-it liberal. I'm a triple L. I'm an L cubed. A love-it-or-leave-it liberal. Love, leave, liberal. Right? If You know, look, I understand, you know, but I also am not that sympathetic. You, you don't want to respect the legitimacy of... Obama's presidency. We'll prove the Kenyan stuff because I don't really care. If it's true but you can't prove it, I vote for him. I didn't give a damn about that. I don't think John McCain was born in this country either. I voted for Obama, gave the state of Hawaii with the Republican governor, has confirmed he's a citizen, which is ridiculous. I voted for him, it's democracy. You didn't win, yeah, but where's, you know, just a, a glint of relativism? I had George Bush, who I think was an idiot, had just fantastical ideas, formally sane-seeming Republicans like Donald Rumsfeld turned out to be go nutcase and tell us we were going to have flowers and all kinds of fog of war bullshit. Watch that movie. And dude lost the popular vote. He got in by losing the popular vote in a, in a court action. And did we go, we want to secede? No, we we're like bitching and whining and bitching and whining about it. Granted, that's what we're supposed to do. But I was blogging, hey, well, at least we didn't have a civil war. You look at geopolitics and history, that's the kind of situation where you have a civil war. And I ended up with a guy that tortured and stuff in my name that I don't approve of. You can say, well, it's nursery, blah, blah, blah. Well, but that's how you think, and you think, you know, Obama's a Kenyan Marxist, too. Okay, we, we have our different opinions. Back to the first point. We're not all going to agree elections have consequences. Obama just ran on raising the taxes of the top 2% for, what, a year, two years? And he won. What do you not get about that? No, we never have to give in. We always get our way. Either we win and we do it, or we're, we're still here and we don't let it go the other way. That's not democracy. Okay. 
The secession is, I'm okay with that. I think it would be great. Let's split the world's superpower in two, see how that goes. I bet we both do great. And we'll find out that actually we have more in common with each other than we were realizing for 50 years. Marginal tax rates are the lowest they've ever been, income tax rates. And capital gain, well, not the lowest they've ever been. When they first started, they had a period of being 7% and stuff. But over the whole history, they're pretty much the lowest they've ever been. They've been up to 80 and 90% areas. And with capital gains, you actually have rich people like Warren Buffett and Romney paying less taxes than percentage-wise than I do. What? Couldn't they just pay the same? I mean, I'd kind of be okay with that. You know, it's it to me it seems ridiculous holding a middle class tax cut hostage, because to the middle class right now, especially, you know, that two three hundred dollars a month is really it's it's important. It's whether they can do special things for their kids, possibly necessary things, possibly therapy and stuff, or maybe it's just vacations and it 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 could be food. It literally could be food that they have to adjust. It might all be reasonable, but I mean, I'm just saying it's real stuff, survival stuff. I'm sorry, but when you're making a million dollars a year, you know, an extra $20,000, it looks like a lot on paper, but you're going to make it. It's a boat that you didn't use or something. I'm so sorry. It seems like, what? How do I say that about other people's property? Because we're talking by definition about people have shitloads of property. It's none of this is affecting their food decisions that they have to say only, you know, a shower every other day. This is what real people have to deal with. And it's fine. That's what life should be. It's okay to say hey, we should save energy and get better bulbs and use less hot water and turn the water heater down. That's good. But we're going to go bankrupt. We need to rebuild our infrastructure. You disagree with that, I guess. Used to be the Whigs and various kinds of conservatives were infrastructurally progressive and I have an overlap with that. They were into building shit. Somehow they knew their businesses were going to use that shit and somehow it would be productive. I mean, I don't... Not everything is purely works with profit. And you know what I'm saying? You know? I mean, your alternative to paying your taxes happily as a patriotic citizen as far as I can see, is letting the, biz the government start businesses like France used to own Renault. That really drives capitalists nuts because then they have to compete with somebody that might be getting subsidies, tax startup. It's just like they can't compete with a business that can put it in billions before they have to make money or maybe they never have to. Of course, in this model, they would supposedly have to, but maybe they still wouldn't or whatever, but they don't want to compete with them. So barring that, it's, it's a fee. We, we have this property that our military stole fair and square for us, and now we're sharing it. Part of it is, that's really, well, I believe in that, and I voted for that, and so did most of America, and now elections have consequences. Okay, I told my conservative relatives 20 years ago or more, we're, we're going to have health care. It, you can look at the trend of history and go, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, America's personal individual character is secondary in the long run to, to what's going on in the world. It's obvious. Bolivia, Chile, I mean, it's not just England and Canada. Everybody has health care, and it, they're making it work, and there might be some experimentation to do, but it's going to happen some way. Then you get... Clinton trying a single pair, which is the most more socialist version. Heritage Foundation says, no, let's do this multi-pair thing. I, being the libertarian side, believe in a market thing. I like multi-pair. I think there should have been a public option, obviously. And I think that people should be covered, and there can't be a mandate. You have to cover people, okay? And I think that'll probably be adjusted as part of the politics of it. But it's, it's the Republican version of the idea. Let the health insurance companies still help do it by competing with each other. I'm a big enough sucker to say, let's do that. And you guys are going, he won't cooperate with us. By golly, he keeps pooling 
games by talking smooth and using our own plans that we then have to differ with. No, it doesn't matter. You, I know you have a different opinion. You lost the election. Just You can't imagine that I've had to go through having Bush that was totally unacceptable to me, and I'm still an American. I'm still like, that's the president of the United States. Well, I think, you know, yeah, he didn't win the popular vote, but we have a legal system, so we don't have a civil war over this shit. And he's the president of the United States. I'm not happy with him, but I'm not. And you guys are like, he's stupid. He's a stupid Kenyan Marxist, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's annoying. And it's just your opinion. And we elected him. 